Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, as part of our hybrid wash series, I'm gonna be testing and reviewing the combination of Chemical Guys Gloss Works and Jay Leno's Vehicle Wash. As always, we're gonna be using the MTM submachine gun style foamer. This is the PF22 model. For the foam portion of the test, I'll be using one ounce each of our car soaps and 10 ounces of warm water, where we'll test the foaming and pre-wash ability of the hybrid combination. Then after that, we'll switch to our hand bucket. I'll use a three gallon bucket. We'll use one ounce each of our car soaps and test the foaming ability in that situation and also how it removes the bonded contaminants in a hand contact wash. It's about, I don't know, 85 degrees or so, pretty high humidity. Uh, there's gonna be some sun. So um, we're gonna be using the black Honda Accord again for this test, so we should get some pretty good uh, visual results on that. Both of these car soaps are excellent. I don't know how they're gonna be when we combine them. Um, in the past, we've had some really good car soaps chemistry work against each other, so we'll see. Anyway, enough about me blabbing. Let's go outside and see what this hybrid combination can do. All right, we've got a lot of bug guttage on the front. Pretty much on a black car that's been sitting in the sun for a day or two, that is going to be a bonded contaminant. It's got a lot of water spots. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. All right, I've got one ounce of our Gloss Works, one ounce of our Jay Leno's, 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. Very nice thick foam it goes on it lays down and goes on really really nice gosh there is there is an enormous amount of lubrication um, just in the suds the foam as you can see it's kind of a two-stage foam it has a base layer and then the outer layer is going to be sheeting off it's sheeting off faster than I'd like to see it there's mostly medium cell bubbles in here this is the sun side of the car. However, there's really not a lot of sun on here, but um, it's just weird how the properties are reacting. This other sun side is doing the same thing. It's pretty stable on the flatter, more horizontal surfaces. So I'm gonna let this sit for six minutes. We'll come back and see what kind of non-bonded contaminants this hybrid combination can remove. All right, here we are back six minutes later. And on the hood, windshield, and top, there's probably 25 to 35% left. And on our sun side, I don't know, 5% maybe. Yeah, maybe a little less. So I'm gonna go ahead and you get the pressure washer. We'll rinse this off and see what kind of non-bonding contaminants this hybrid combination has removed.
Okay, so the Car Pro Hydro 2 that we did on this several weeks ago, there's still a little bit of protection. Not a lot, but if you go back and look at the first video I did on this car, you can see there was absolutely nothing left on it. The entire surface looked like this. Um, and it's been on there for two weeks. Uh, this combination did a fairly nice job on the non-binding contaminants. Of course, we know it's not going to do anything on the bonded contaminants. Both those soaps are very pH neutral, very gentle. Uh, but it did a fine job as a pre-wash. I'm going to give it a solid 9. For sure. So I'm going to get everything set up with the bucket and we'll see what kind of foamage this combination makes and then we'll perform a hand wash and see how it handles the bonded contaminants. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put one ounce each of our car soaps in our bucket. This is the Chemical Guys Gloss Works. Very, very, very good car soap. It's very viscous. And then the Jay Leno's. This is also a relatively unknown car soap, I think, to most people, but it's super, super ruby red. It's kind of neat. But it's also an outstanding car soap. These are what you would consider top tier car soaps. All right, so the both of them are gonna sit on the bottom until we agitate it. So let's do that with the pressure washer and see what kind of foamage we get. The combination of smell with these two car soaps is very interesting. This is a very stable foam. It's comprised mostly of small cell bubbles. Um, and it's very, there's a lot of lubrication in here, just the foam itself. But it's not breaking down at all. The water, see this is what you want to see in a good car soap. The water solution, which is what we're actually washing the car with, feels like oiled water. It's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my multiple uh, wash mitts ready, and we will perform a hand wash on the Accord and see what kind of result we get with eliminating the non or the uh, bonded contaminants.
Isn't that good luck or something? A butterfly come in your house? Anyway, uh, we're back here. I'm going to go ahead and give you my final review of the Chemical Guys Glossworks combined with the J. Leno Vehicle Wash. Very, very good as a hand wash. I'm going to give it a 9.5. It did a very good job on the non or the bonded contaminants. I don't know why I keep saying that. Anyway, stuff that sticks to the paint. Now keep in mind that this paint I don't think has ever had any protection on it other than the Hydro 2 that we put on a couple weeks ago, which was just a stopgap. But it's black. It's got, um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's Swirl City, as you would expect. But that's not what we're here to talk about. The wash, hybrid wash, did a very fine job. Easy 9.5. Not as such a not as good as the pre-wash, but it was good. Um, I was I think a 9.0. So this combination, honestly, I don't think it adds anything when you mix them together. It doesn't take anything away, but uh, these are both excellent car soaps. They are fine by themselves. If you want to try this hybrid combination, you may get a uh, different result than I did but they're very good car soaps by themselves or as a hybrid combination. Guys, I appreciate your viewership. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and right next to it is a little bell. If you'll click that, you'll be notified immediately when I upload new content. There's a lot more coming and I will see you guys on the next video.